why do we sometimes just not feel God? Sometimes we don't feel God's presence because we've built a wall of sin. We've just given ourselves to something that we know isn't right. Isaiah chapter 59, verses 1 and 2. Surely the arm of the Lord is not too short to save, nor his ear too dull to hear. And listen, he's speaking to the people of God here, to Israel. And he says, but your iniquities have separated you from your God. And your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear. It's not that he can't hear. It's that you've just driven a wedge between God and yourself by engaging in something that you know ongoing that is, it's not going to be good for you or anyone else or pleasing to God. When we allow sin, now listen, I'm not talking, this is important. I'm not talking about struggling. We all struggle. Okay, we all struggle. We all have stuff that we struggle with. Um, but here's the cool thing about what the Bible teaches about conversion and being born again. Before you know Christ, you might do some good things. You might do some wonderful things as a person that doesn't know the Lord. And many people do, and they like to talk about the good things they've done, and that's wonderful. But the trajectory of your life is all about me and doing what I want. And living for this world. But repentance, this is what repentance is about. That when we turn to Christ, we turn away from that mindset and say, it's not about me anymore. It's not about this world or this culture or the pattern of this world anymore. The way this world thinks, I'm turning to Christ. And I'm, he's my Lord. And his truth is my law. Right? His command is my desire. And so I want to follow him. Now, I... I'm not, I'm going to stumble. My flesh is going to win some, some battles. I'm going to have words and thoughts and deeds that, that I'm going to need to say, Lord, I, I surrender that to you. I take captive every thought. I'm, I, I give that to you. There's going to need to be an ongoing awareness of those things that we need to surrender as we walk with the Lord. But the trajectory of our life isn't about us anymore. It's about living for Him. I hope you see that difference. And when we, as Christians, we we begin to wander down a path where we just let ch uh, sin continue in our life, some area the Spirit convicts, and we just kind of ignore that or, again, rationalize or justify it, and we allow sin to just go unchecked. We get into a pattern of behavior or thinking or living, and we just let it go. Even though we know the Spirit's saying, don't do that, that just, it's just like a giant wedge that comes down between us and God. And it just separates us. There's no way to have a close relationship with Jesus when we're walking in an area of rebellion. You just can't do it. And you know what else is really interesting about that? Is it not only draws, draws, drives, I should say, a wedge between us and God, it drives a wedge between us and God's people. Have you ever noticed that sometimes when people fall in and, 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 and we'll just say wander away, get into this mindset, and they allow sin to get a foothold, and they just don't even show any signs of repentance or wanting to turn away from it, all of a sudden, coming to church just isn't very appealing anymore. I don't want to be around those people. They make me feel judged. Well, there might be an individual or two who is judgy, and they need to repent of that. But the reality is, you might just be feeling conviction. <laughs> and if, you don't, if you're not willing to repent, it just drives a wedge. And, and, and that's why the Bible says, man, if we know somebody like that in our life, we need to reach out to them. And lovingly and gently restore them. Galatians chapter 6 verse 1. Gently love them and say, I love you. I love you. You know I love you. You know I'm not perfect either. But I love you and I'm just calling you back. To just repent of that thing and let it go. And you know, just jump in that bucket of grace again and just be clean. Um, but when we do that, it, it, it can feel like, where are you God? He didn't go anywhere. We just got ourselves in a bad way. If you've accepted Christ as your Savior and Lord and you find yourself in a place where sin is run amok in your life, it's all about surrender and confession and repentance. You just turn back to Him. Come clean. Let the truth set you free. Don't hide it. And let God's grace fresh clean you up.